Let's talk about the Jin and Arimon. Okay, what's going on, my fellow occultists out there? I hope you guys are all good. So yeah, we're going to talk about Ariman and the Jinn. Again, I worked with them last year. I'm working with them again this year. I got a team. I um, uh, have a group that we're all doing the rituals together and sharing our experiences. It's turning out pretty amazing. Um, it seems like we're all, we're all going through different things, but... Um, we're all connecting and sharing and um, learning about how they're working with us individually. Now, a lot of people uh, stay away from this path because this is the path of destruction and chaos and pure darkness, removing shit from you. And yes, this is dangerous. It's dangerous because if you're a person who needs to have everything removed from them in order for you to grow, that's what's gonna happen. Luckily, <laughs> that's not what's happening with me, but um, I'm experiencing more things. Now, last year when I worked with, um, the, I, I was working the Path of Smoke, and I was working the Black Magic of Ariman, and I was working Draga. Uh, kind of doing the same thing this time, but a little bit different approach as well. Um, a lot of our Aramanic yoga is necessary in this practice. Um, now, last year, I did, I don't know if I told you guys, I had a, a deva um, come to me in my astral realms. Well, actually, it was more of a, in the physical realm. He just uh, sedated me and then pulled my astral body out of me while I looked at my body, physical body, uh, on my bed. And he proceeded to raise my kundalini with, with sexual um, energy. And he unlocked a part of my, uh, part uh, unlocked part of something in my mind and that was blocked something I didn't even know that I could do which was the music and producing music and creating had no clue I would be doing this and that was because of a deva that was because of one of these ancient gods um and I believe it was taproot um only because when I saw the picture of him in um black magic varimon I was like yeah that was that was the the deva that that I can see well feel felt he was in my closet he had tendrils it was fucking dark and um when he wrapped his tendril energetic tendril around me it burnt my astral body um he sounded like um you know coals at the end of a fire that crystalline crackling sound of a fire ending that's what he kind of sounded like but anyways, so this time around, working with Ariman and the Arkdevas, who um, I got to see Akamon and Indra, and in my mind, very, very, very cool. They do look like how they're depicted in the ancient times. Um, now their skin was blue and greenish, and he had gold on. And um, let me sh let me let me get a picture of what so... what he looks like. Like, I was like, it, catch, it catches me off guard how accurate this was. And I didn't even really pay attention to the pictures. I usually, went, after I see them, then I reference into the into in tomes and books and see if I can see if that's what I saw. You know, that's what Akamano looks like. That's what he looks like. You know, may, maybe in the physical realm different because this deva when he came to me in this realm when he was manifested fully he was made out of smokeless shit but but i don't know just dark energy but it wasn't like like in your mind when you see them and then indra looks like andar indra um they look they look like this they look like that and their skins are skin is green greenish blue now the things that have been brought forth to me things change okay first first i'll talk about the first week of working with them what they've done um i uh 
can't remember my dreams totally kind of gone having um i've had uh an, uh, the entity, I've had the, the gin come at three o'clock in the morning every night in my room. Heavy, heavy presence, very uncomfortable. Um, feel I had a garb of protection on me, um, where I felt untouchable like, absolutely untouchable. I was going to work with my partner, my work partner, and um a car almost hit us and I, I felt this like no fear of death no fear that I was going to be harmed just a pure no fear protection feeling okay amazing um, I was doing sun gazing okay when I was doing sun gazing the sun was the first time because it's March this is the Mar this is the month of Ariman when he entered the into creation um, and spring equinox obviously but uh, he, uh, I, was, I was chanting the black sun. And yes, sometimes I kind of look at the sun. But when you do that, it turns into the black sun. It's bad for your eyes. But fuck it. Can't help it. It happens. As soon as that starts to happen, Ariman comes into my mind the way he looks like this. Like that. Full blast. Full blast energy load, download, information, power. The power... I'm feeling within myself to accomplish anything is is more so than I ever have felt. Um, <laughs> removing, destroying the limits of obstacles. Um, I we told I told Ariman and the Devas, if you want me to anchor more energy into this realm, I need more material. I need more things so I can do more things. Mm, within three days, I got my tax return, and it was a lot more than I should have gotten. I shouldn't even. I haven't gotten my tax return in ten years. They take my money because I owe the government. Not this time. I got a big lump sum. Mm, mm hmm. And now I can go and meet another Deva Yasna, and we can do some more work together, which is going to be happening in a couple of weeks. I finally get to go and be with someone like myself. You know, this has never happened. The, the opportunities never happened. Everything was working out. Everything is is co according to the plan. Um, realizing there's um, a lot of things I still need to destroy within myself physically that I'm not liking but uh but being aware being aware of the limits i put on myself it's crazy it's still crazy um no i did write some stuff down hold on every night we're working oh i've also um i've also uh made some fetish items items i don't know why i say that items items with gold rings Ugh. Before I do that, tell me this isn't a fucking coincidence. Um, I have my uncle's ashes with me. In my room, I have him. And he only came a couple... He came last week. <sighs> Drujnasu. I need, like, my, my, my temple is crazy right now. The activity is absolutely nuts. I went to go sleep with my daughter <clears throat> last night. She wanted me to sleep with her. So I went upstairs and she was scared. She was so scared. She said, <clears throat> I came into the bed, passed out. I was tweaking. I was twitching. I was moaning. I was groaning. <laughs> um, she said she heard clicks on the walls, uh, little bangs on the door. And then at one time, she was just on her phone and her back was turned to me. She heard something come from the, from the bedroom, a swish, and a dark shadow went into me. She tried waking me up. I couldn't wake up. She tried waking me up again. I kind of did. But she knows what to do in this situation because she knows what I'm doing. Um, but she said it was probably the scariest uh, experience for her. <laughs> her mama getting possessed. <laughs> kind of funny, right? Um, not really, but it is for me. Because uh, I know then that this shit's real when other people are experiencing the shadows around me and um that's what's gonna happen when you work with the gin okay real shit's gonna happen real 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 shit gotta be prepared for it so <clears throat> i also fucking quit vaping for one day and then 
I said fuck it, but the 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 they were bringing that up of how I'm a slave to this fucking thing, you know, a slave, and it's like my mentality was so mad that I don't want to be a fucking slave to this bullshit, and I got so mad and I did quit, and then I found a little bit of vape juice left, and I was like I'll just try a little bit, and I fucked it up, so it's okay, I fucking failed that test. But I was aware now of how much of a slave I am to this fucking device. <coughs> yeah, I'm, 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 I have memory loss. I don't know why I am having short-term memory loss. It could be just an effect. My... Uh, so much power and so much energy right now is is just going through me um i'm so empowered one day and then i'm so fucking drained the next day it's just the way it is you know um i'm seeing fucking shadows everywhere in my room and my family seeing shadows <laughs> it's fucking this shit's crazy okay this is where you're gonna have some real sorry culture interruptions i don't even know where i was hmm Okay, so, oh, so the deva that proceeded to unlock potential, potential. So these entities will destroy the things in you. And by vibrating and doing dark steota and uh, removing the ashmenta, Ashmenta Spentas, um, Ashmena Spentas, Ashmina Spentas, the fucking angels, and the light spectrum, removing and destroying that and putting in the devas. It gives you the ability to harness pure power. Pure power. I have never felt so much power in any system than this system here that I'm working with. Um, you have to have no fear in this. You will be confronted with the things in your subconscious and the things in this and in, in external you're gonna see things you're gonna feel things and if you're not ready or equipped to handle this you will be destroyed you will be destroyed no doubt so this is not for the beginner this is for people who really want the alchemical change who really want to understand this reality and to to overcome Um, now the kiss of Ariman is when he kissed Ajahi and she menstruated uh, that happened to me I got my menses and I was able to use that to do the exorcism um, but uh, what else what else what else every Arkdeva will um, stir up the emotion like okay <clears throat> let me just uh reference some things here from from uh draga uh some quick things about some of the devas okay so indra indra is to inspire conquering and overcome or in uh, overcome inner and outer weaknesses so this shit coming out that you're weak all your weaknesses like my vape weakness <laughs> overcoming it overcoming it and uh conquer it Savar, no wait, yeah, Savar, Savara, inspire the change, bringing storm spirit. We were doing, uh, we were calling Savara, and the next day I got a snowstorm. So they are heavily connected to nature. That's why Zohawk, first man turned Dev, is is very powerful. Like when you start invoking Zohawk, it's pure destroy everything. Like I want to destroy a lot of things and you have to be sane you have to be mentally equipped to not to like actually go out and do shit like that but there's things that you can do that uh wage war against things the light and yes you're gonna get attacked by the light it's gonna happen but if you are powerful enough and if you are a powerful deva yasna which is a demon worshiper you will be able to vampirize the shit that comes your way this is a system that is going to change you change your whole perspective change your power bring you true power to control and to convey and to direct energy to to, to manifest here in this realm in the material realm um 
Nana Hayathia to realize and focus the inner outer worldly existence. <sighs> Teramonti, Tapravin Zarik, to conquer rivals, obstacles, enemies. Every time I do that, and also Tapriv and uh, Zarik are responsible for psychedelics and uh, the poison, poison plants. <clears throat> okay, because that opens up your consciousness. They love it. Um, so yeah. Ishma, Ishma to invoke, to control and guide the seven powers given to Ishma, um, Aishma, the sorcery involving the direction of power to a singular purpose. So every time that you work with the Kunda, the, the Aramonic Yoga, you focus your desire on what you want to do. There's many targets that I've cursed that I'm cursing again. It's just part of what we do. So they're getting some gin action here. There's still things that you can do and make sure that you have a direction when you're um, invoking the devas into the chakras, okay? Use it. Don't just invoke it. Use it or it will stir up and you will self-destruct. You need to exercise. You need to funnel this energy out, balance, put it back in the ground. Um, I'm hooked on power, power within myself, you know, I don't care about anything else right now. I just want power over my obstacles, you know, I'm tired of fuckery. This is the path that you choose when you're ready to fuck up shit within this reality. Um, all right. That's it for now. Take it easy. One last thing. That hymn, that invocation that me and my team put together, uh, if you want, use it. I We are creating these for you viewers to tap into this current. Okay, this is the, this current here. If you listen to it, Put on a candle, bright black candle, and start listening and invoking them. And just see what happens. See what happens tonight. Promise you, you will have an interaction. All right, that's it.